Hi, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this two pack of resettable combination locks. So these are resettable and I've never used these. So this is gonna be an interesting experience. So here it gives you directions on how to use it. And let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll read the directions. So, wow, pretty easy to open. So that was easy. Whoa, these are fairly hefty. Oh, wow, wow, these feel really good in my hands. So definitely a hefty feeling lock. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't know what that means, but it passed some type of test. All right, looks like they're ready to open. Okay. And I think that's, you see there, that's zero, zero, zero. That's the default combination, I believe. So let's go ahead and read the directions and try to set a new combination with these and then test it out. So let's see here. It says, scroll the dials to the current combination. On first use, scroll to the default code zero, zero, zero. Pull up the shackle and then turn counterclockwise 90 degrees to the code setting gap. Push down until the tiny pin is fully inside the gap. Okay, so let's see if we can figure that out. So right now it's it's open, right? Because it's at zero, zero, zero. So turn, it said counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise. So I'm guessing that's going to mean like this. And I guess, oh, there it is. You see that? You see that little gap there? You see a little pin? There's a pin and then you push it down. There we go. There we go, and then you turn it. So now it's stuck in there. So now this is the code setting. Let me just show you that again. So basically, there's a little hole there. So you turn the pen, turn the pen, turn the pen, and then right there, you push, but then you gotta turn it so it stays there. Okay, now it's in the code setting. So let's just set the combination at like two, two, two or something, or one, one, one. Let's do one, one, one. One, 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 one. Okay, so we've set the combination at one, one, one. And then it says, okay, set your own combination. Turn the shackle clockwise until it pops. Now the new combination has been set. Okay, so clockwise until it pops. So clockwise would be this way. Okay, just popped open. All right, so we have our new combination. We can close it. Okay, I guess it's, I guess it's closed now. Well, how do you close it? Let's see, so I think maybe you do that and then you change it, let's see. Oh yeah, now it's locked. Okay, yeah, yeah, so now it's locked. So to undo it, that's cool. You go to one, and then one. It's pretty cool. And then one, and now it should unlock. Pretty cool. See that? So one, one, one. Let's change the combination to two, 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 just to show you again in case you missed it the first time. So basically what you do, there's a little hole there. You see a little hole? And so you turn this until that lines up there. And then now I can, I can push it down and then you turn it. Now it's stuck, see it's not gonna come up. And let's change it to three, three, three. So three, 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 three. Actually, let's go back to zero, zero, zero because that's the default and I don't wanna forget um, what my combination is. Um, so let's just go to zero, zero, zero. Then you turn it clockwise. So that would be this way here. It snapped open. And then when you try to close it, look, see, it doesn't lock. You see that? So what you have to do is you have to close it down like this and then just shift it. Now it's locked. So pretty easy. So very easy to use. Uh, hopefully that made some sense. And hopefully you know, now, you know, now you know how to, to set the combination. And yeah, I'm very happy with my purchase. And you get two of them. Uh, as just as an example, this one's at zero, zero, zero. One more time, I'll show you. Let's set it to one, one, one. So what you do is you turn it. And there's a little gap there. You turn it until that little pin lines up with the gap. That pin lines up with the gap. And then you push down. Okay, I'm gonna push. And then you turn. Okay, so now it's stuck. See, it's not gonna come out. Now you can set the combination. Let's set it back at one, one, one. Okay, whoops, one, one, one. It's set at one, one, one. No issues. Then you turn it um, clockwise. And now it's set at one, one, one. And look, it doesn't lock, right? So what you do is you have to push it down and then you turn it, now it's locked. And then to undo it, one, 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 unlocked. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the factory default of zero, 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 so I don't forget. Zero, 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 unlock. Boom, getting better at this, yeah. So now it's at zero, 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 so it won't lock as long as it's in zero, zero. This one's locked. So let me go back to zero, zero, zero to unlock it. Zero, 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 and then zero. Yeah, pretty easy to use, really impressed. 
I like that you can reset it um, compared to like other combination locks. A lot of the other ones you can't reset, but these you can. So yeah, and you get two of them. Very happy with my purchase. Uh, the brand is Puromo. Yeah, nice combination locks. Very happy with these. Good luck.